here we go. The Force Unleashed. Back. Explicit D here with your main master. Be a Baron. The Jedi Master. The Sith Master. Hmm. Yep, yep, yep. So is this a new level? This is Imperial Raxus Prime. Some more Raxus. More Raxus Prime in Imperial style. Yes, an another kind of lazy shortcut on the developer's part because it's the ex like for about half this level. It's about half the same textures and you know setting as one of the levels earlier in the game, so they just kind of fucking half-assed it. They thought they thought they'd save the other stuff for the downloadable content. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're gonna charge you for original stuff. All right, this game's <laughs> too short. Let's do a copy paste. Yeah, and unless the downloadable content is like Imperial Raxus Prime revisited, yeah, that would be kind of ridiculous. Which it could easily be. <laughs> I mean, I haven't really looked into it because I'm not planning on buying it. But. Yeah. If download content had like backtracking. Through other levels, I'd probably crap my pants. You know, I think we need. I think I need to make clear that like we're bitching about this game a lot recently, and it's a fun game, and I had a lot of fun playing it. But when you play through a game three times and record it, and collect every and collect all these Jedi holocrons, and then hear that there's downloadable content that they're charging you more money for that's going to be released in like a month. And then you have to edit those videos, and then you have to sit through those videos and do these voiceovers. That's like five times playing the exact same level within, you know, a couple weeks. And it gets fucking boring. So if I'm just tearing this game a new asshole, it's not because I think it's the worst fucking game in the world. Even though it could easily be improved a lot. It's just, it's it gets really fucking boring and frustrating playing this shit over and over and over again. Mm-hmm. Thanks for uh, the insight. Yeah, well, yeah, someone was someone sent me a message about bitching about playing Army of Two, and that game did suck. And I, <laughs> I would bitch about playing that again any day of the week. Yeah, if I wasn't playing with you, it wouldn't have been fun. Oh, I mean, oh. Well, I choose to play with someone else, but you're my only friend. So. Oh. Oh, so by default. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's not as good of a compliment. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that game, yeah. I had high hopes with the teaser trailer. Army of Two looked sweet. Yeah, the very first teaser trailer was badass. Though. So was this one. Oh, yeah. Oh, I put together a little clip. I'll post it later. Of uh, comparing. The scene on this level, I think it is actually, uh, where you take down the Star Destroyer. The Star Destroyer. Um, the trailer of that compared to what actually happens in the game. Because mm -hmm. I found that trailer that you know when we were talking. Oh, there's the Millennium Falcon sitting in the trash. Oh, that's too bad. <clears throat> Anywho. So yeah, um, there'll be a video up of that eventually comparing the trailer for this game. Where Star Killer pulls down the Star Destroyer, and he just like slams it into the ground, and it comes crashing to a halt like right at his feet, and that's the trailer. And then in the game, he like runs away like a little bitch, and it's just kind of like, you know, this guy's a fucking pussy. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. That was kind of funny. Yeah, so what's, what's going on here in this here level? There's nothing to talk about. You're just running through, throwing people off the edge. Getting holocrons. Shocking the Jawa. Coming out to a big area. Or there's going to be uh, a bunch of guys fighting each other, so you can let them kill each other for a little bit. There's, there's three uh, purge troopers down below. And a whole bunch of the turret guys. So just let the turret guys kind of tear up the purge troopers, and then throw the purge, and then throw the the turret guys at the purge troopers for massive damage, maximum efficiency. Mm -hmm.
So how do you think this game would have fared had it been released in the midst of uh, holiday season rather than being the first one out? I don't think it would have made a difference because LucasArts fired a large portion of their production crew, production team, in July. So I don't think the game would have changed a single bit. What about as far as uh, sales? Sales? Yeah. Um, I think it would have no. done worse if it was going up against Gears 2 or something like that. I don't know. I mean, their advertising budget was pretty big. Yeah. Um, it's a franchise game, so everybody knows the name Star Wars, and they, everyone bought the game because it had the name Star Wars in it. Oh, shit! Star Wars uh, The Old Republic MMO announced today. Oh, you're dating us. You're dating this game. Shit. A announced October 21st. Today. Oh, today. 2008. Oh, man, they can see that we've been slacking on this guide. It's taken a month to get yeah. it done. So what do you think of that best Star Wars game ever? Or at least most addictive Star Wars game ever? Star Wars MMO? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I mean, it could be good unless they just use the name to sell a lot of copies like this game. Yeah. Well, did I you mean, ever play any of the Knights? I, I guess it's... No, I, I never played Knights of the Republic. Oh, I've, they got good reviews. I never played them either. I, I've always heard that they're fucking awesome games and I've always been interested in playing them. But it's actually... Uh, I think Bioware making the game, who made Knights of the Old Republic. I, be oh. I believe. I that's, hope. I hope I'm right on that. That's um, good. So it's not LucasArts, which is a good thing. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah I think, it I think could be really it's definitely a good really thing. Good. Considering the two LucasArts games are this and Fracture. <laughs> yeah, for the holiday season. I think a Star Wars, sold I think ten copies. A now? Star Wars MMO on a console is the only thing that can genuinely compete with World of Warcraft in terms of subscription numbers. Because Blizzard makes fucking amazing games. Yeah. Star and the the only way you can compete with a game like World of Warcraft that has so many subscribers already is to have a franchise. That everybody knows already, mm -hmm. and uh, you know something that a lot of people are going to buy right out of the gate and continue to play just because of the name. Yeah. I mean, like, what is it? Um, there's a couple big MMOs that started recently that are Warhammer, Warhammer, and there's another one, um, Conan. That probably, you know, they might break even. They might make a lot of money off of it, actually, but there's no way that they can compete with something like World of Warcraft, mm -hmm. even though it could be significantly better games. Yeah. But I think a game like uh, a Star Wars MMO. Yeah, or, definitely. Or even has like power. A good Final Fantasy MMO that's mm -hmm. not Final Fantasy XI. That's not Final Fantasy XI. Yeah. Thanks for the advance warning. 